Hi, this is Todd Miller, uh, Product Manager here with Hawk Performance. I want to talk a little bit today about the anatomy of a brake pad and what to do with the grease. I've seen a couple of uh, pictures here and there where the grease has been applied to the face of the friction. This is not where it's intended to go. Um, if you put it on the face of your friction, which is the side that touches the rotor, you're going to end up not having much stopping power. The grease is designed to go anywhere the abutments rub, so anywhere there's steel to steel contact in your caliper or on your backing plate, anywhere that your pad itself touches your piston clip. So you want to make sure that you uh, lubricate the grease on the back or lubricate the pad. On the back of the grease pack, you know, specifically will tell you that you're going to use about one to two grams per pad. And this is a seven gram packet, so it's plenty to do all of your pads. The other uh, common question that I've had is shims. Do I reuse my OE shims? Now your OE shims are a silver colored shim, and you'll see them and you, you, you'll think that they need to come off. Well, our shims are black. Most of the time they're clipped on, and they've got steel in the middle, two layers of rubber. So what you want to do is this shim will come on the pad for any of the street compounds and you do not want to put your OE shim over top of this because generally that will end up causing some interference and it could create a little bit more noise. So just because our shims are black does not mean that they're not on there. Um, so enjoy your Hawk Performance brake pads.